Out of two hanging glass hummingbird feeders, M49161, we even give you a recipe for a great hummingbird uh, food that you can put inside of it. Our testimonial line is open at 1-800-395-1601. $33, but today we have it on three easy payments of just $11. More just arrived. We sold out of these and we've waited a while. But here is Roxanne De Palma who brings these to us. Roxanne, I, the value. I know. Good to see it's you. Crazy. You've got one of these cheap little um, plastic yeah, okay. ones, and this is glass. Okay. D d do these relate, guys? Yeah. You spend ten, fifteen dollars on these things that you throw out every single year. There's yeah. no way to clean plastic. Yeah, they down. get nasty. Okay, and our little hummingbirds, they don't like the mold. So. Okay. Um, this is why I came out with this. I yeah. love hummingbirds. They are my passion. I have six in my backyard. I have four in my front yard. Wow, two, you have 10 hummingbird feeders. I do, I do. You must I have do. a lot of hummingbirds. I do, I mean, yeah. uh, Court Walleen, he's yeah. another one, guys, Roberta's. Yeah. Court says he has 10 to 12 hummingbirds a night. Well, you he tell, loves told our me feeders. that once they find the food, they're territorial, they'll come back and year hang around your house. Year after year after year. Nice. But they like certain things. They like the red attraction. They like a place to take and perch. They need to rest, Dan, because okay. a hummingbird actually takes and flops its wings 80 times a second. Is yeah. that crazy? They're so 80 fast. times a second. They're amazing. They're, they're, actually, when you look at them, scientifically, they shouldn't be able to fly, but no. they defy the odds. No, and it's crazy. I just love it. So, of course, Roxanne wants something pretty in her garden. Yes. And I think these look like jewels, okay? Mm -hmm. So this one here kind of looks like a column or kind of like a fire hydrant. You know, I'm mm -hmm. kind of partial to that fire mm -hmm. type thing. Mm -hmm. And then this one here is kind of like an antique cone. So when we designed these, Dan, I made it so you can take and clean these really super easily. Nice. Again, you can get a bottle brush in here, guys, and you can uh -huh. really get in there and clean with your soapy water. This comes off as well, so you can get this all clean too. Again, I added the perches on here so those birds never, ever, ever have a problem with sitting down and relaxing and resting. Nice. Okay. And so do you recommend using a shepherd hook or what are some ideas for hanging this? You've you got know the what? hanging hardware is included, right? Dan, I have them off shepherd's hooks. I have them off hooks off my gutters. I yeah. even have them off my hanging baskets at home. Nice. And you know, they have Super those little pretty. hooks you can attach to your deck to the railing that come out and you can hang it there too. So wherever you have it, um, and tell us about, you give us a recipe, right? Yes, absolutely. Guys, don't go to the store and buy that red gucky stuff, okay? Our recipe is super easy. It's one cup of sugar, four cups of water, put it into your measuring cup, put it into the microwave, cook it for five minutes, stir it around, let it cool, uh -huh. and then put it right into your hummingbird feeder. Now, why is that better than some of the stuff you buy? Well, it, ha it has dyes in it, Dan. Oh. And, and they're attracted to the red. That's why those people put in all those red, lovely dyes and chemicals. We don't want that. They need it's the not sugar. not good for the hummingbird. Mm -mm, okay. Mm -mm. And here you see Anna. She just filled it up, and she put it right on the shepherd hooks, and away they start to come. Year wow. after year after year. Hey, you know what? This is one of my picks of the show. There's not a ton of these to go around. You get a set of two. Look at how the hummingbirds are attracted with that long beak. They just poke right in that hole there and they are happy. And they love to sit and they're hanging perch. around. Yeah. And they like to hang around. And this is how they relax. This is how they get their energy back. Dan, what a great Father's Day present. What a great housewarming present. And you're getting a set of two. So if you have a small area, keep one for yourself and give the other away. I like that. You like that? I do like that. Give, be a neighborly, uh, give a neighborly gift. Absolutely. Because when they see you and your hummingbirds, they're going to want one. Absolutely, uh, And I Dan. love the way you designed it to clean out easily. Those mm -hmm. other plastic, you're right, you throw them away every year. Well, the holes are so small inside here, or mm -hmm. some of them are completely enclosed mm -hmm. so that you can't even get in there and clean them. And you hummingbird feeders know exact, those, you people know exactly what I'm talking about. To give you an idea, they're 10 and a quarter inches high and about six and a quarter inch, six and a half inches on the base. But I love the perch areas for the hummingbird to rest because they are working hard. And Dan, they're not these little cheesy little flowers, plastic here. I got, you know, I love Hawaii too, honey. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I made my little hibiscus flowers all the way around. 
Nice. So again, they're very attractive. And these look like jewels in your garden. I like that. They, rubies. They look like rubies. Yes. And if you have the Flutterby Butterfly from Bushes Cottage, from Cottage Farm, Farms, yeah. guys, get one of the shepherd's hooks, poke it right down in that similar area, and the humming birds will hover over it. We've even had butterflies come to ours. Wow. Crazy. Here you go, M49161. More just arrived in stock. We've been waiting for I these. Know, we, we sold out yeah. for one and seven minutes in wow. March with Carolyn. Over a thousand have just been ordered. Look at that hummingbird just happy. And isn't it great to get a close up view of them? You know what, Dan? Uh, I have two of them that are right outside my kitchen window, hanging mm. off my gutters. It is my favorite spot because in the morning, about seven o'clock, they come and again mm -hmm. at five o'clock at night. Now we have one little guy that is very territorial. So he'll sit up uh, actually on that bush right there and he will wait and wait and wait and all of his friends start to come then he'll bomb away. They are so much fun to watch. If you've never experienced a hummingbird, get these, get them in your garden and enhance your garden. And you do know that hummingbirds do pollinate just like bees do, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And guess what guys? If you have an ant problem, they're gonna have a really hard time getting down into here as well. Mm, and that's Dan, a good point. they're yeah. just gorgeous. Yeah, they're really pretty. Fabulous gift. Yeah, and the hummingbird is gorgeous. So if you wanna see them, you gotta feed them. They're territorial. They'll be coming around with this. And I love your uh, recipe, just one cup of sugar and four cups of water. You mix it up, you put it in there, and you've got hummingbirds. Glass, these are glass, these are not plastic and just beautifully designed, easy to clean, mm -hmm. place for four hummingbirds to perch. Dan, this is what you normally have to clean. Oh, we're looking okay. at the hummingbird right oh, there. I, I, They're right. gorgeous. I mean, those hummingbirds are just stunning. They and are. And like I said. I love the way they flit and move this way, this way. They go sideways, and, and it's amazing how you will also get little hummingbird nests. Guys, yeah. if you give them the food, they will make nests close to that food. Mm. And if you've never experienced these little tiny hummingbird um, nests with the little itty bitty eggs, oh my goodness, it is literally a touch of heaven in your backyard. Really is one of God's great creatures, the hummingbird. Oh, look Amazing. at that, Dan. Okay, yeah. this is what you normally get to deal with. That's the dimension of a normal hummingbird feeder that you're gonna buy at one of those depot type stores. This is what I did. Why? Because I knew it was a problem. I love my hummingbirds, guys, and I want to be able to feed my hummingbirds and give them really good, clean food. This will get really moldy, and the plastic will actually take and adhere the mold. Ooh, I need to let you know, we brought in 3,200. Yes. There's only 1,100 left, or closer to 1,000. Okay, oh, goodness. don't miss out, they're going quickly. We just got really busy on the phones. $11 a month is on three easy payments. Two glass hummingbird feeders, M49161. Roxanne De Palma loves hummingbirds almost as much as she loves her husband, Bob. Almost. 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 But Not quite. My kids, but my husband, everybody <laughs> knows how much I love. My favorite thing, Dan, I love sitting out with a little glass of wine, maybe, in the backyard Ooh. about 5 o'clock at night, and the hummingbirds just take, and they feast on this, and it's so much fun. Yeah. They will drain a hummingbird feeder, at least in my backyard, every four to five days. Wow. That's why I put that recipe. You're going to get the recipe card with each one, okay? So you're going to get the cone shape, and you're going to get what I call the fire hydrant, and my wonderful Roxanne De Palma recipe on here. Simple, simple, super simple, yep. easy to make. As Sills and Croft said, hummingbird, don't fly away, uh, fly away. Just I come and nest and feed. All look right, there's at, only at. 700 remaining out of the 3,200 we brought in. Please stay in the lines. M49161, uh, three easy payments of $11. Use your mobile device, qbc.com, whatever. Just don't miss out. Thanks, oh, Roxanne, mm, because I, I think you, these are on their way towards selling out. And uh, if you don't want to miss it, dial in. Thanks, Dan. For yours. All right, uh, what was that? Uh, oh, Fashion Night In. Our, today's special value is up next. Fashion.